Whew, is that all of them? Hector, where did you come from? <laughs> well, metal I would. Yes, but what are you doing here? You wound me. How, how do you mean? You're looking for your father, right? Why didn't you send word? Your brother was just named Marquis Ostia. He's going to be very busy setting up his court council. Lord Uther must need... Uther? I'm going to call him Uther. Must need your support. You are his brother, after all. My brother is not so weak. Oh, he has mentioned some things in public, but he knew exactly what I was planning and he let me go. Is that so? Well then, it would it would be unwise to refuse his kindness. It does me good to see you, Hector. Thank you. Think nothing of it. <clears throat> you know Oswin, don't you? Well met, Lord Eliwood. It is good to see you again, Oswin. So, you came as well? Yes, Lord Uther was worried about Lord Hector traveling alone. I've been ordered to keep a close eye on him. <laughs> of course, good to have you with us. Lord Hector, why didn't you tell me the fighting was done? I apologize for the interruption. I couldn't restrain her any longer. Are these your companions, Hector? Oh, yes, I suppose they are. One might have hoped for better, but... That was uncalled for! I can't believe you said that! Matthew, did you hear what he said about you? Me? He was talking about you! I love this game so much, mostly for its characters. Hector, why don't you introduce us? The noisy one is Sarah. Believe it or not, she's a cleric. Yes, I am Sarah. I, my lord, pleased to meet you. And that's Matthew. He does a lot of sneaking around. My lord? Sneaking around? Well, I uh, gather information, open doors, chests, and such. I've got nimble fingers. Oh my, that's what she said. What? That sounds like a thief's work. Well, don't let it worry you. But this journey, I suspect it will be harder than you imagine. You may have to accept things like this if you want to survive. Well, is it? What is it, Hector? Do you know something? Nothing specific. Rumors abound, though. A league of assassins from Bern has been moving around in Lycia. Experienced bounty hunters and mercenaries are vanishing. That reminds me. One of the men who attacked us said something odd. What was it? Lord Eliwood, if I may. I don't remember Marcus's voice. <laughs> they, they're all starting to sound the same. There's too many characters for everyone to have a different one. Marcus, good to see you. Lord Hector, it's been far too long. It's the same voice. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Come now, Marcus. No need for such formalities. Tell me, what have you heard? Of course. The apparent leader of the Gang of Thugs. He indicated that someone was watching a Lywood. That someone needed him dead. Hmm, that is troubling. Actually, a captain of the guard was watching the fight when we arrived. He was a knight of Santa Ruz. And yet he just stood there and let a lord be attacked. I think he was planning on seeing you die. Whoa. The conspiracies, man. So, Stefan, what do you think? Um, it's Silver Rooster, actually. You might be right. Something may very... Something may have happened to Lord Hellman, too. I mean, that's exactly what I was thinking. Come, we must hurry to the castle. Eliwood, who is this? This is Stefan. Hey, man. I required tactical aid in the search for my father, and... Oh, I see. So this is who directed that battle, the battle plan back there, hmm? It was brilliant, wasn't it? You know, Stefan, you're very young. I mean, I'm 22, do you consider that young? We've many strategists in Ostia, but none so young. No one's 22 in Ostia? Eliwood, are you sure about this one? Stefan is still a student of military strategy, but, you know, I just realized, when I'm like 40, I'm still going to be playing this game. <laughs> when I get to that part, I'm just going to be like, I was once. We've received nothing but sound advice so far. Stefan has my trust. Alright, I suppose I shall witness your skills firsthand. Well met, Stefan. Hello, how have you been, Stefan? <laughs> my secrets revealed. Oh, that, yes, it's true. My guise as a common thief was but a ruse. I've served House Ostia for some time as a spy of sorts. Surprised? Well, regardless, it looks like we'll be traveling together again. Here's to our mutual survival. 
I love Matthew. He's one of my favorite characters throughout the Fire Emblem series. Stefan! It's, is, is it really you? It's been far, far too long! You missed me, didn't you? Of course you did, I knew it! Hmm? Didn't I tell you before? I'm in the employ of Ostia, Lycia's ruling territory. I'll be here to help you just like before, aren't you lucky? Well, I mean, you're my only healer right now, so I kind of don't have a lot of choices. In search of truth! A Lyward enters Santa Ruz only to be attacked by a strange group. In a desperate moment, he is rescued by a childhood friend, Marquis Ostia's younger brother, Hector. The assailant's leader reveals that an unknown party seeks Eliwood's head. Eliwood cannot help but think this is related to his father's disappearance. In search of more traces of his father's footsteps, Eliwood sets out for the castle of Lord Helmin, the Marquis of Santa Ruz. Is that how it's pronounced? Santa Ruz? I don't care anymore. I I said it like first episode. This is my playthrough. I'm going to pronounce things however I want, no matter how wrong they are. In search of truth. Santa Ruz Castle. Master Ephidel! What is the meaning of this? Peace, Lord Hellman. Whatever is wrong. You said you were just going to frighten the Lywood. Your men almost killed him! My patience is at an end! I've decided I must tell Eliwood everything and apologize! You would betray us? I am tired of you and the Black Fang! Now remove yourself from my castle! Your presence pains me! Lord Hellman, is there nothing I can do to change your mind? Nothing! In that case, you're no longer of any use. What? <laughs> oh my. I think he's dead. There's the castle, Eliwood. We have to speak with Lord Hellman. Whoa! <laughs> That's not gonna happen, laddie. <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? Ah, boy, you'd do better to worry about yourself. I don't know what kind of talk, like, how to talk for this guy. You'll be worms me before much longer. You think so? I think my axe will change your mind. Ha! <laughs> this cub thinks he's a wolf! Does your bite match your bark? Tell you what, if you make it to the castle alive, we'll find out, eh? I don't know what I was going for there. <laughs> you were yelling at me from across a river? Oh boy, my new character. Hey you, yeah, and the new dog. Get this right or you're gone. I know, I know. I just got this job. I don't want to lose it. Of course, the smart thing to do would have been not to get involved with this ugly bunch. Got to have gold if I want to eat, though. I was too picky before. If I think about the time I passed out in Kalin, oh, nothing funny about that. That man, what was his name? Matthew? If it hadn't been for him, I would have starved to death. What are you mumbling about? And get over here now! Uh, yes, yes, I'm coming. At least I've got work. Well, you know what? We don't always get the jobs we want. Do I get to uh, rally anything? Nope, okay. Nice to be working for you, with you, Stefan. Uh, as a journeyman knight of Ferre, I'm here to serve Lord Eliwood and you, Stefan. I await your command. Alright, let's see. What's your range? Hmm. Where can everyone make it to? What's the uh, damage dealt on this guy we can do? I gotta, I gotta plan this out. I definitely need you down there. Hmm. I think I'll be sending... What, did I ever give you... Oh, okay. Hector has an axe you need. Um, you have an axe Hector needs. Alright, Sarah, get that axe for now. Because I think I'm going to send Eliwood and Marcus over the river. Because I need to get to this village, but I can't have Marcus kill this guy. Because it's an unpromoted challenge. So I have to wait there. Let's see. I have a healer now, so I'm a little more confident in doing ridiculous things. No, never mind. Uh, we'll just leave that there for now. I can't send Rebecca in harm's way yet. Alright, the forest will protect you. And you better miss. You have a 20... Good. He has a 22% chance of hitting. There's no way, right? Alright. 
This level's a little... This, uh, chapter, rather, can be a little tricky, but I can... I can get it done. Hmm. Alywood, you're not going to be doing much for this chapter. Alright, Rebecca. See, I'd like to attack you, but you can only do 8 damage to him. If only you had 2 more strength. What's your... Okay, you're not at level up form yet. So everyone's going to go after Lowen. Or one guy's going to go for Hector for some reason. Alright, dead. <laughs> why would you do that? Alright, well, you know what? Never mind. It's... I know exactly why. Enemies go after whoever they can deal the most damage to. And does Lowen have more defense than Hector? I doubt it. That can't be right. Alright, one thing I also gotta keep on the lookout for, I gotta go check it out my next turn. I gotta see where that, uh, guy whose name happens to also be Guy, uh, his movement is. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. He's a recruitable character, but I have to have Matthew talk to him. Alright. Oh, I gotta get to that village before that guy. Alright, where are you at? Yeah, see, his name is Guy. Alright, so I gotta draw him out. Because he could be, he's kind. Of, he can be pretty tricky to recruit. Because that is a very dangerous weapon, and he is an enemy right now. All right. Uh, let's see what we can do. That figures. Can you finish him off though? You can. Do me proud, Matthew. I know you will. There's what? Thirty-six percent chance of hitting. That's nonsense. You guys all know it. I just got gypped. They cheated me. Alright, Oswin, what can you do? 17. Good enough for me. Plus, it was the most you can move. I need to get Oswin to draw out Guy. That's the plan here. Where can you go, Sarah? Okay, you can reach Hector, so let's uh, give him that iron axe, and then heal him that damage he took. If that shop has any other healing staffs, I'm going to pick some up, because I'm going to be needing a lot of them. You cannot go on without a healer. It is a necessity. Okay, let's see. Oh, cool. Not bad. Whoop. 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 Okay, he's down. Good work, Hector. Okay, who's left? Lowen. Rebecca, do me a solid. Take this guy out. And then I can have Lowen get to that village before... The reason I need to get Lowen to the village is because the bandits, like the brigand classes, have a chance... Oh, come on! That's not cool. These guys, this class right here, the brigand, if they make it to a village, they can destroy it. And then I can't visit it and get stuff. And I like free stuff. <laughs> what good timing! Would you try this for me? It's an invention of a great witch. Me! It's a mine. It contains some very explosive magic. Hide it on the ground, and when an enemy steps on it, kaboom! <laughs> I'm still testing them, so that one's free. Come back and tell me how it works. So those are very unique items. I never really used them as part of the main story. There's a fun glitch you can do with them, though, that I'll explain more on that later. I'm not gonna do it, because, I mean, it's fun to do when you've beaten the game at least once, but I'm not gonna do it as kind of a moral kind of thing to not cheat the challenge. Oh, might as well use the iron, you can't finish him off either way. So anyway, this is the only reason why I would stay behind, so that he could fight, because Marcus can't. Because it's an unpromoted challenge. I don't know if I ever said that. What? You have healing stuff? That's not cool. Where are you guys going? Ah, uh, man, and I can't reach him? How can I not reach him? Alright, well... Can I... He's probably going to use it again, but oh well. I guess it's good experience for Eliwood. We'll just wait him out. Uh... I gotta get all these guys out first, and then I'll try and get you. Oswin! Okay, Sarah, can you reach Matthew? Good, he needs some healing. Alright, we'll try and... Let's see who we can uh, get to that fortress. Because I think I want to have someone wait on that fortress. I gotta draw everyone out before I can move everyone. See, this is my biggest problem with this chapter. So many obstacles are blocking my way. Alright, maybe, like... Uh, 
Probably should have separated the team a little better. I don't know if these guys are even going to get the chance to do anything much in this chapter. Rebecca got a pretty bad level up. That was not the best one. Here, uh, give uh, Hector his new axe. No, wait, that's not for Hector. That's for... Who did I want that for? I wanted that for you. Might as well. You have a lot of movement, so you can go just about anywhere. Alright, let's see what your guy's plan is this time. Wow, he actually... Did he just trap himself? I think he just trapped himself for me. I don't know what they're really planning to do. They can't do much. I think he just trapped himself right here. Cool. Nice work, idiot. Oh, cool. Never mind. Well, wasn't expecting that. Nice. Alright, well, I guess I could uh, have a lie would try and... I don't know, I don't want know if I want to take that big of a risk and have Eliwood try to take these guys out by himself. I think I'd be more comfortable with everyone else around. I gotta really pay attention for your movement. Alright, we'll move Hector on here for now. Everyone else will move out. We really need you. Can I check something? Can I just... I gotta give up your weapons in a second. Alright, you know what? You'll see the plan go through in the next episode. So if you like this episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can catch the next one. I've got a plan and it's gonna work out. So I hope you guys join me next time, and I hope you enjoy.